class that surveys American literature after 1865. Um, we're doing a game called Greenwich Village 1913 that uh, it has, it's set up so that there's three movements in play, and then above that, those three movements, suffrage, labor, and um, a collection of villagers, above those three movements are these swirling issues of, of change in, um, in what it means to be a nation that are also concerns of the Speak for your handwork, and I'm fighting for the people's rights That's what I'm All right, great. from the industry. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of people on my side. Great. My character's name is Emma Goldman, and I'm an immigrant from Russia. I support anarchy and its freedom that it offers to the world, and I want to show how it differs from socialism and big business and just deliver village from the confines I'm John Reed and I'm for the revolution to get all Americans um, together for the cause of the working people and the right of all people not just women Right here in Poly, so where we're at, we cannot get the maximum amount of involvement that we need without getting it out to the people. The masses is encouraging people to do that. The masses, listen to the name, it's encouraging everybody. What you're doing, just like Max Eastman said, this is this is the way to get the movement moving. And I play Mabel Dodge, and my character is a wealthy woman that believes and women empowerment and sexual freedom and I'm just doing all I can to support um, any movement or any ideas that anyone has. My character I play is Hutch Hapgood who is a author of the early night, uh, 20th century and he uh, promotes new feminism, he also promotes communism and he's uh, the labor movement and he's married to one of the other And my character name is Alice Hellman and she is for the suffrage movement. She um, fights mostly for the um, immigrant people and their rights to uh, better working conditions. And, and if you go ahead and get it. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, Susan B. Anthony says that, you know, or points it out. How, how do you know? like the gaming? I really like it. I think it offers the opportunity to develop public speaking, and that's really nice. And oh, oh, everything. That you actually learn better from the game than actually just reading over the material, you know, while the, with the people acting out and the characters doing their it's fun. It's a lot different than anything I've ever done before, but I really enjoyed it and I've had a good time. It engages good learning and working yeah. skills. Um, it really engages um, s making synthesis and, and um, creating as well because they're taking on the role of a person. They're kind of engaging in the world from that person's point of view. So it really increases empathy, which really is going to increase their comprehension, their understanding, um, and synthesizing all that information. All right. uh, so that is what our class is doing right now. And it's taken a while for it to get up and running. But as you'll see, um, once they did get into it, um, they got into it really well. Thank you.